Today, we will be going over the AP view of the pelvis on x-ray. There are several key landmarks that you will want to be familiar with prior to rotations as they are commonly brought up in reads and knowing them can help you follow along. Here is a list of the landmarks that I will be going over. These include the anterior and posterior acetabular wall, the iliopectineal line, the ilioischial line, the teardrop, the sourceal, and the Shenton line. So diving right in with the acetabular walls, first looking at this model of the acetabulum, you can appreciate the anterior and posterior walls of the acetabulum. Then looking at the AP pelvis here, you can see two lines running here that you can appreciate as the acetabular margins, but you may be a bit unsure as to which represents the anterior wall and which represents the posterior wall. One of the best ways I've had it explained is to look at the lucency of the image. You can imagine x-rays traveling from anterior to posterior and thus down here they travel through only the femoral head then in this region where it appears brighter and denser if you will you can imagine the x-rays passing through both the femoral head and one of the acetabular walls and finally in this region where it appears the most dense the beams are passing through both of the walls and the femoral head thus you can conclude that this first line is the margin of the posterior wall and the second line is that of the anterior wall as you can imagine up here the beams are having to pass through the anterior wall the femoral head and the posterior wall so that would be three versus two versus one as you work more lateral next you have the iliopectineal line which you can see here and the ilioischial line which you can appreciate here these lines are only appreciated on the AP view of the pelvis and represent the anterior column and the posterior column respectively I will go over the columns in a future video, but understanding this relationship between the lines will suffice for now. Next, the teardrop can be appreciated here. The lateral aspect of the teardrop is formed by the acetabular fossa, while the medial aspect is formed by the obturator canal. The source seal can be seen here and represents the weight-bearing portion of the acetabulum or the dome of the acetabulum. Lastly, Shenton's line can be appreciated here and is drawn along the inferior border of the superior pubic ramus and along the inferior medial border of the femoral neck. This line is utilized to assess the continuity of normal anatomy within this region as a disrupted Shenton's line can clue you into a fracture of the femoral neck, dysplasia, malrotation, etc. Okay, that is all for our quick run through of some of the most commonly asked about landmarks appreciated on the AP pelvis x-ray.